Hey guys, welcome back to another ASMR with the Silver Motion. Hey guys, welcome back to the Silver Motion. We are going to be talking about The Exorcist, The Believer. And uh, we're going to keep this one short for you guys. What are the main things that I want out of a movie about possession and demonic forces such as this one? Well, I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. Uh, I am agnostic, meaning that I, you know, I believe in the possibility of something. Uh, maybe no religion is right. Maybe all of them are, or maybe there's just one big ball of energy that started the whole thing. Uh, I, what that is, I don't know. But my main point and, and the answer to the question, what, what's the main thing I want out of a, a movie about possession is for that movie to make me a believer through its runtime. Now, you know, I, I do understand that in the back of my mind, I'm still myself, I still have my beliefs, but I want to be submerged in this, you know, belief that dark spirits and demonic forces could be real. At the end of this review, I will be answering the question of whether or not this movie made me feel that way. Ask anyone, think of the exorcist, the exorcist, what comes to mind? And, you know, most people will say the, the exorcism part of the movie. But what most people don't remember until they sit down to watch the movie is that the exorcist is actually a pretty slow cook and it takes its time uh, to build background and build uh, its characters. Uh, this movie attempts to do something similar. For, I say the first half of the movie is pretty slow but it definitely fails to take advantage of that build-up in the same way that the original did. But at the same time, I do believe that this movie did an okay job at building up intensity and, uh, you know, slowly bringing you into the possession side of the movie uh, with some, you know, shocking moments and pretty decent imagery and sound design. Now, I'm going to get into some minor spoilers. I mean, most of the stuff you've seen in the trailer, uh, you can see that Ellen Burstyn is back in the movie. I believe they could have set up the reappearance of, uh, of this character in the background um, in a much better way than they did. Uh, I felt it, it felt pretty lazy, in my opinion. And again, spoiler alert, it's, uh, you know, she's not there much. So just a heads up on that one. Something that I think we all need to keep in mind is that the original was a totally revolutionary film when it came out. And to compare this to that is simply unfair. But at the same time, it is impossible not to look at the original as point of reference. Especially when there are so many moments in this film that are a clear reflection of the first one. Now, some questions you might have right now are, is this movie scary? How scary is it? Is it scarier than the first one? And as always, guys, I am going to be 100% honest with you. When it comes to movies about possession, uh, demons, supernatural themes like this, uh, that's kind of a weak spot. Like I, I get, you know, I get scared pretty easy with this, uh, with this type of movie. I was not scared at all with this film. There was a couple of jump scares that got me, but. Yeah, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, with this type of movie, you know, they usually try to include little clues, little details, you know, uh, an evolution of the arc of possession, you know, through the movie until we get to that climax, you know, to the final exorcism scene. If you're wondering what I think about how they deliver that, that climax, I was not, you know, I was not unhappy about it. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty grotesque looking. Uh, I thought that the sound design was pretty solid, even beyond the makeup, uh, which by the way, at times it kind of reminded me a little bit of uh, the style of makeup they use in uh, the Evil Dead remake. But uh, the, I thought the sound design really uh, 
took it to the next level when it comes to this movie above the makeup. For what I watched in the trailer, I was expecting the makeup to be even more grotesque than it ended up being when I watched the actual movie. But nonetheless, that final climax, uh, you know, the final exorcism scene, uh, it, it was not, it, I cannot say that it was bad. It was, it was well done. And heads up, here we come with another quick spoiler, and then I'll get to my rating. Towards the end of the movie, people from different backgrounds and religions come together uh, in order to perform this exorcism, which from my point of view initially was a solid idea, you know, because, I mean, again, from my point of view, maybe no religion is right, or maybe all of them are, so... Uh, I felt that it was a very smart idea from the part of the writer to approach the exorcism scene this way. But man, it just felt so contrived. It felt so forced that it didn't work. You know, it should have worked, but it didn't. I don't know, guys. Again, it, this movie, it, it was kind of divisive. Like, the way certain things are delivered, the way certain characters uh, talk to each other, I don't know, it was, uh, it was a bit odd at times, the way they put this whole thing together. And the last thing is the ending, which I'm not going to spoil. I'm simply going to say, when you watch the original Exorcist movie, the ending is very cut and dry. It's very defined. You know exactly what happened. But when it comes to this film, I'm not going to say that I don't understand the ending. I'm just saying that it's a bit more confusing. It's more, it just, it's more abrupt. It's more, it's not as defined and polished. Yeah, I, I was a bit disappointed, guys. I'm, I was very excited for this movie. When I watched the trailer, I really, you know, I really thought this movie was in good hands and that we were going to get something that unfortunately we did not get. Um, do I believe that this is a bad movie per se? I do not. I think this movie gets a 5 out of 10 and yeah, at least they tried. So... Uh, if you're a fan of uh, exorcism movies and you're not looking for anything special, uh, this will definitely uh, it will definitely do the trick. So yeah, all right, guys, thank you so much. This is the Silver Motion. We have another uh, horror movie bench video coming up very very soon. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and uh, talk to me in the comments. All right, see you on the next one.